The women in the grassroots level, what they are creative, they are creative many, many strategic and tools in order to survive. So one of these women, even the occupation demolished her house for three times. She built her house again in her hands with her husband and, and her children. My name is Sahar al -Qawasmi. I came from Palestine. I built the next generation of women leaders. The Adwar Association targeting the women who are living in marginalized area. This area is completely controlled under the occupation and the settlers. So uh, we are the only women organization who reach them and deal with them. The women and the girls in this area living in the tent and the cave and also uh, in the caravan and they suffer so much. They are facing the daily violation from the occupation and the settlers they face the daily discrimination against them. So the women, they are isolated in their homes. They don't have any access to continue their education, health care, and water and sanation. The Palestinian government organization cannot reach them. So Adwar Association take this responsibility to reach these women, I try to protect them, listen to them. Adwar Association, we institutionalized a, a woman protection committee in this area. We have a, a project with a, with a small budget, so we cannot reach all these women. But the Women Protection Committee in this area, they sustain and they continue their work to reach another woman and try to support them. Uh, to be honest, the biggest challenges I faced as a professional woman and also as a leader, the financial support. It's hard and it's big challenges for women organizations and special in Palestine now, the financial uh, support for the Palestinian country, it's decreased, put us under pressure, spending much time to find partners and to find donors in order, you know, to get fund and uh, met all uh, the women needs. Through Adwar Association, we are focused about the girls to continue their education because we believe that education is very important source for the girls to empower. If we empower women, the family dynamic relationship, it will be changed. She will be a, a decision maker in her family. She will protect also herself and protect her family and also protect another woman. So empowerment is the first step to be strong woman, to be a leader in her uh, community.